Greetings, people of the tube, Wayne Hackman here, aka Waxstar, and this is an iMac, one of the more recent models. And unfortunately, this one has got an internal problem. I suspect a blown motherboard. The only way that I'm gonna find out is if I crack it open. Apple notoriously make their products more and more difficult to get open, but with a lot of care, a little bit of time, and a little bit of ingenuity, we can get inside. And I thought I'd show you today how to do this. The previous generation iMac actually used to have the screen held on by a magnet and you could buy yourself a suction cup, this one I got from a local DIY store, put it on and carefully ease the screen off. Apple have solved that problem by making it even more difficult and sticking the screen to the main body. Little bit frustrating Apple, come on, make your products accessible. But it is possible to break inside. I think you probably can remember, even from the previous Gen and iMac, they used to have a little area behind the back which you can unscrew and upgrade the RAM. Even now, you have to crack open the screen. Now, I actually use the suction cup, but what you will need uh, are a few things to help you get into this machine. Before we get to that, it's really important that you take this repair on at your own risk. It's not an easy repair, it will take you some time, and there's a real strong possibility that if you are too forceful, you can break the screen. So you're gonna need a hairdryer. I'll explain what you do with that in a moment. I found an old credit card um, and something that you don't mind using just in case it gets broken. I also found some old business cards as well that I use as spacers and just to help grab the screen that it doesn't fall off, I've got the suction cup. So take the hairdryer and just gently put it on heat and warm the edges of the Mac where the screen meets the unibody. And as you do that, you're gonna ease the glue and, and it will make it easier to just very gently slide the credit card in between the screen and the metal chassis. Um, now, this is done quite easily because I've already done this. Um, and as I slowly work my way around, I actually put the business cards in between the screen and the chassis uh, just so that the glue wouldn't reset as it cooled down. Now this is very difficult and it's very fiddly and it's going to take you a while and be careful that you don't overstress the screen because it's very possible that you could break the screen and that's going to open up a whole nother repair and expense. So take your time on this. I've obviously done this already. I've obviously gone around the whole side with my hairdryer. Now what you'll notice is that you'll be able to get to the screen quite easily around the edges but where the screen meets the bottom part it's actually flush with the the, the the chassis and it's difficult to get the credit card in between the screen and the metal bit but what you can do is just very carefully and be careful here open up the screen and, and kind of use the the tapey gluey part as a little bit of a hinge now there are some cables connecting the screen to the main board. There are two, I believe. So very carefully unclip them from the main board. You can see them on the back there. And what you'll notice is it, it kind of opens up a little bit like um, a hinge. Now, you might want to leave the screen like that. I felt uncomfortable just leaving it hanging like that. So I actually just got the credit card in and I was able to just now uh, kind of move the glue away from the screen and I could put the screen to one side. From this point on, uh, you can get quite easily to the hard drive and pull out the main board and do the repair that you need to do. Um, if you feel uncomfortable, please make sure you get an expert to look at it. Don't undertake this repair if you don't feel confident enough. Um, and you'll will need to get some, some double-sided adhesive tape just to stick it all back together so it doesn't fall apart. If you have been watching, I greatly appreciate it. And as always, have one on me.